Hello, welcome to the Collector RC. All right, so you can see here I'm standing next to a vehicle or a truck, little bro's truck. Saw me in the reflection there. I got a couple of these Tupperware things here next to me in a backpack, and you can pretty much tell it's a battery case there. And uh, we are on an adventure today. We're gonna we're trying to we're gonna take the bastards out. So I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing with, I'm bringing with me today. You've seen these, of course. But I've got the granite. I'm gonna do some bashing. That's the main goal, is find some bashing. And then, of course, I got the Jeep with me. So, and I do carry all my cars in Tupperware containers. The, uh, makes it easier to travel with all this stuff. But anyway, so what we're doing is we're gonna look for a place to do some jumps and yeah so right now i'm just waiting for a little bro to get his stuff ready and then uh the cuz he's coming as well so he'll be bringing his but then he's bringing the creighton uh little bro uh will have his e-rebo and yeah so we'll uh we'll uh, get to that okay so you know i was earlier saying we're gonna try to find some bashing and all that kind of stuff well it's actually been eh, about a day, eh, probably I think two days actually, uh, since I since I said that, and I got a, I got a good reason. So I'm going to show you. You can see here the crate, the uh, container. Well, no, there's nothing in there. So we end up going to a school, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna real quick. We end up uh, going to a school. And we were kind of started testing out, we were doing top speeds on, we found a big, huge, great grass area to, to drive on. And uh, it was me and uh, um, the Cuz with his Creighton 4S and my uh, Granite now 3S. But anyway, the, uh, we were doing top speed runs and, you know, just trying to, just seeing how fast we can go. It was fun. We did a couple of them. And then I ran into a small problem. And I've had the problem, I've noticed it, but didn't quite know what it was. Because like I said before, I may know robotic stuff, but I haven't been in the RC, necessarily directed in the RC um, world for for that long. Um, I do, comp don't, don't get me wrong, <laughs> we, we, uh, we know them a lot, we grew up with them, we know them a lot, we've played with them all our lives, we've just never been full on only RC like we are now. That's, that's the difference. But anyway... So, here it is. And you notice it's taken apart, and I kind of kind of just probably gave you a hint there. Let's see if you guys figured it out. <laughs> uh, if you did figure it out already what it was, go ahead and uh, comment real quick. And uh, yeah, but, so you'll see that it's all taken apart. Take the body off here, it's still kind of Velcroed. And there's some things I gotta do. Um, wrong gauge wire issues, uh, you can see here. This is why you need to make sure your gauge wires. And the only reason why I did it, because it's all I had at the moment and I was impatient. And this is what I'm gonna get for my impatience. <laughs> but it's just, I'll have to desolder, which is usually never allowed in the soldering world. Um, and you can see that it burnt. It's just too hot, wrong gauge, couldn't handle it. And I've got the replacement wire, so I'll fix that. And, but it works. It was working. <laughs> But you can see there's some parts missing. Uh, motors disconnected. The uh, got the parts sitting there, and then look at that. I got two of them. I didn't look at that. I'm showing you the price on that too. Two ninety nine. Anyway, spur gears. So, God, I really want this and game. so what happened is that we were running across the grass. And I was hearing some weird clicking sounds. I've been hearing the clicking sounds for a while, and it was usually with the braking. What I thought was my was dealing with the brakes, which ultimately I was correct, just wrong thought press process. Um, but I we went on a, our last. We were doing one more big run before I was going to start recording, and we uh, as I go to make the turn in the distance, the the granite stops, and. It's way far away, so I assume, okay, well, I've been using the battery for a while. I'm not sure how charged it was, so maybe the battery died. So I'm walking up to it, and the whole time, kind of every once in a while, hitting the trigger, make sure I can see that my wheels are turning. So I was like, okay, yeah, it's it's definitely the battery. 
as I get closer, I'll go ahead and tap the my throttle one more time. And I hear this <laughs> sound. <laughs> and right away I knew that the motor wasn't doing anything and there was probably some stripping on the gears. Well, let me show you. This was my spur gear. You can see, this is no longer a spur gear. <laughs> and that's why I have two more because it's gonna happen again. And, and until I, I, I'm gonna have to end up switching to a metal one if I can find one. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think there is a 91 tooth 48 pitch metal um, spur gear out there. So yeah, or yeah. So, and this is part of your slipper of this particular system. Uh, it's, you can see in there, see some of the setup and yeah. So I'm gonna have to replace that. And so that's why there is no video of me running this. It's just bad luck. <laughs> so I am gonna end up fixing it and we're gonna, I'm gonna get a chance to run it again. And so I will get that on video, uh, but yeah. So I just wanted to let you know.